The attorneys representing Kenneth Walker and Brianna Taylor are fighting back tonight, saying Daniel Cameron is not telling the whole truth. Tonight, Gabby Gagadis interviewed them today, and tonight, Kenneth Walker's attorney, Steve Romines, also has much of the evidence that has also been a part of uh, Cameron's investigation. Yeah, that's right, Doug. Romines, who is representing Kenneth Walker, as you said, he is planning to file a motion to demand the attorney general release the findings that were presented to the grand jury because he says everyone deserves to know what happened. There are multiple things that, that are obviously inconsistent with what he said. It's the things that Daniel Cameron didn't say that leave you wondering. Stephen Romines and Lanita Baker point to the eyewitness that Daniel Cameron says told investigators that he heard officers knock and announce themselves. The first statement he gave uh, just a few days after this happened, he said they did not announce. Now, they subsequently interviewed him two more times and he has a language barrier. Romines, who was representing Kenneth Walker, says the evidence he reviewed shows the witness changed his statement in the third interview. You can't take that against 12 witnesses who have maintained that it not announced themselves. Baker is representing Brianna Taylor's family. I'm not convinced that Daniel Cameron even asked for charges as it relates to Brianna Taylor. I'm not even convinced that he presented um, evidence against um, Miles Cosgrove and, and uh, John Mattingly. Romines claims that some of the officers who were on the scene the night of the shooting made false statements in the course of the investigation. Saying they had, they were barricaded inside with AR-15s. That's false. He also claims in the investigative file, one of the officers said Kenneth Walker shot 12 or 15 rounds. Release it and we'll, we'll see who's telling the truth. Report shows that the round that struck Sergeant Mattingly was fired from a nine millimeter handgun. Cameron says that and gun belonged that to Kenny it. Walker. Romines Kenny disputes Walker that. It absolutely could have been fired from any of the other officers, including Officer Hangison, who is wildly firing, and who LMPD's own records reflect carried a nine millimeter. And Daniel Cameron says Brett Hankinson, who was indicted on three counts of wanton endangerment, his shots were inconclusive to determine whether or not any of them hit Brianna Taylor. And Romine says, based on the KSP's ballistics report that he reviewed, the term inconclusive is the exact terminology that was used to determine whether or not Kenneth Walker shot his Sergeant John Mattingly. For now, reporting live in Jefferson Square Park, Sunday Gabriel Gergis, WHES 11 News.